Hey guys, good afternoon. It's just uh, Bill here. Just wanted to um, uh, run by some thoughts. I know it's uh, first of the month, November first, and you know it's always uh, good to start uh, any month off uh, with the right thought process, the right mindset. Uh, I jotted down a couple points that maybe uh, I could share uh, this afternoon and uh, start the month off right. I know uh, many of you uh, are coming off the heels of a fantastic uh, free enterprise celebration. Heard some great speakers. I won't get into. Um, all the names of all the phenomenal speakers, they all were great uh, and very much uh, needed in these times to have that breath of fresh air, that breath of uh, renewed optimism. As I said uh, in our introductions in the Eagle meeting, um, our basically uh, the legacy we want to leave is the optimistic um, nature of our attitude through these times. And uh, that's so important to us. So, you know, that really leads me to my first point, uh, live your best life. And I think that starts with uh, the commitments to our habits, our core habits that uh, we commit to on a daily basis. And, and uh, that enables us to live our best life, I really feel, because if we're uh, doing the things that we know we need to do, uh, compiled with some things that we need to do personally, uh, whether it be in the areas of our fitness or wellness uh, or eating, uh, all of those things are very, very important to uh, maintain and to lay a foundation that enables you to uh, move to the next level. Because without those foundational habits, uh, living your best life is impossible because we all deserve options. I mean, that was the biggest reason that, um, you know, we got started in this amazing um, asset building, uh, growth mindset development, um, mentorship program was because uh, we wanted options. We wanted freedom. We wanted flexibility. Uh, we wanted lifestyle. And, uh, and so those things from my vantage point were unattainable in the vehicle that I had chosen. And so in order, in order to, for me and my wife and my family to live our best life, we had to make some choices. We had to discard some of the things that were holding us back, uh, that fixed mindset, and, and we had to adapt, or adapt a, a growth mindset and uh, really believe in moving forward. And so that probably led us to the next point I wrote, I wrote down because anytime you, know, you make decisions, anytime you set goals, any Anytime you want to make some changes or alterations uh, to your life and your lifestyle, uh, it seems that's when fear sets in. And so, you know, fear is a very bad strategy. Um, you know, it can paralyze you, uh, you, you know, paralysis of analysis starts setting in. And I just encourage everybody this first of this month heading into, you know, obviously the last two months of this physical year um, is to really allow yourself to eliminate, um, you know, basically being fearful. And so being fearful, um, you know, has no fruit. It helps you no way. Uh, the thing that I realized as I started, um, you know, making these changes 30 years ago is I just, I just embraced action. Uh, I knew that I would make mistakes. Um, I knew that not everything would be perfect. Uh, I knew that a lot of people would give grace. Um, and so what I did is I just, I just went after developing my skill set, developing habits, um, you know, and just jumping into action. Because I believed, like a lot of you understand, the only way that you can conquer fear, the only way that you can get better is through action. You can't do it by reading more, although that helps. You can't do it by listening more, although that helps. What really inspires everybody to move to another level is for you to eliminate, you know, the, the, I guess the paralysis of fear. We're all going to have fears. You know, even me, I just, you know, do I, do I really have value? Can I add value going, you know, putting this video out? And, and so we all have those things, you know, that those, those areas of self-doubt, but what we have to do is we have to push forward and realize that uh, we can't help anybody by staying silent. We can't help anybody by being a cocoon in our homes. We can't help anybody just being, you know, um, all, um, you know, basically shut down sh in, in this in this environment, we need to push forward, and we need to make some great things happen. And so third thing I jotted down was uh, what gets rewarded, uh, gets done. And so you need to set some mile markers, you need to start setting some objectives of what you're going to ha have happen and what was going to happen as a result of your habits and daily routines that you change. Uh, I know for me a number of now months ago, almost a number of years ago, a couple of years ago, I decided to, you know, uh, become a little more fit. And um, I need to have mile markers. Some of those mile markers were the amount I exercise, the calories I burn, things that I can control. I didn't necessarily um, uh, focus on, you know, the weigh scale uh, because I knew that when I started, 
you know, being more active and doing more exercise, that uh, muscle weighs more than, than uh, fat. And so I could get uh, not um, any, any success or any rewards uh, from looking at that. So I chose to, to look at things that uh, I could control. And I could control some inches that were coming off my waist. I could control how I, my clothes fit better. All those things I um, started to get excited about as they happen. And so what gets uh, rewarded gets done. And so I kept doing more and kept doing more and kept doing more. And, and, and so that's really the same thing as the business uh, and building an asset or anything. You the more you do, uh, the more you're going to do because you're going to see results. The less you do, the less you're going to see results and nothing's going to get done. So uh, I just encourage you to adapt that, that mentality that I got to just do more. Uh, we're all capable of doing more. We just have to make a decision uh, to do more. And um, in the area of mentorship, um, I just jotted here, you can't steer a, a parked car. And, um, you know, we'd love to we set goals. We've seen, you know, some new pins. You know, a lot of you ask, you know, okay, what's happening uh, with Kopecky's team and now they're new EDCs. And, you know, you see some of our friends, um, Mike and Lauren Labou are now in diamond qualification. All these people that we've had in to speak are continuing to push forward. They're containing and building on the momentum that they've created. And I just encourage you uh, to build and create momentum because once you attain that momentum uh you understand the value of it and you'll never want to let it go and so i just encourage you to push forward your mentor can't help you if you're not doing anything uh they definitely can help though if you're um making moves you're you're out there developing your skill set you know people now understand this is a new normal and if they want to talk they're going to have to talk whether through a mask or whatever and i'm hearing a lot more success people are having a lot more uh great conversations uh because they're they've made that decision that this this may be the way it is for a while. So let's push forward uh, and make some things happen. Uh, another thing I wrote down is um, decide whether or not you're going to be a, um, you know, a host of life or you're going to be somebody that embraces it and drives it and is the leader through life and has that, you know, ownership mentality of your life. And I think that's uh, something that is not talked about a lot. And um, even for me, I don't know quite how to understand um, that, you know, you have to get out of this, you know, this victim type men mentality, this, this mentality that you're owed something, uh, that you can't control your own destiny. It's someone else's fault. I am where I am because of this. And uh, I just say that's hogwash. You can do whatever you set your mind to. There's too many stories of people that have pushed forward and that are in a lot worse situations than uh, you would ever be. Even um, listening to uh, Larry and Pam's story at Free Enterprise. And oh my goodness, I mean, I've heard it before, but uh, just to hear it again about where they were at, how, you know, basically down and out they were, how low of income they were, and now to be founders, double diamonds, and, you know, I, I, I mean, you're not supposed to say incomes, but minimum million uh, dollar a year income and um, you know basically living the life all he does is fly around uh, to do a few things and then basically has people down to his farm and coaches and mentors them um, I mean what a great life what a great lifestyle but he had to push forward he had to really really um, believe the great thing could happen and uh, and so do you uh, you have to believe that as well uh, number I have number six here that I wrote down is uh, you can't outwork doubt you know if you have doubt in yourself, if you have doubt in the asset you're building, if you have doubt in anything, you know, you can't outwork that. And you have to find ways to eliminate that doubt. You have to find ways to believe that and to have faith. Um, and that for me was just getting around the people that had what I wanted, that had overcome, that were doing what I wanted to do and, and listening to them and realize, okay, if they did it, I could do it. And so I, I really protected myself from allowing people to to uh, plant seeds of doubt in me. I tried to really um, harness my self-talk, uh, contain that so that I could, you know, talk about the great thing happening and that I could do this, that I could get victory, that I could have uh, what my family deserves as, as an outcome from this. Um, you know, I had to believe that the asset we were building was the right asset. I had to believe that coaching and mentoring people uh, for, for the rest of my life would be, uh, would add value. Uh, it would be valuable to me to, to uh, ask for that coaching and mentoring and really uh i i think that really spurred us on to some phenomenal growth especially early on in our business because we realized we had to eliminate doubt 
because it was a, like a chalk block. I talk about, you know, when you ever small, uh, fly small aircraft, the prop planes, um, you know, they have to get the engines ro uh, warmed up and rolling pretty heavy before you head down the runway. So they put these blocks in the wheels uh, to stop it from moving as it's revving up the engines. And I think a lot of people have doubt blocks um, in their life that, that don't allow them to get moving down the runway. And so I just encourage you to remove uh, those doubt blocks. Admit you want success. You know, I said, admit you're scared and then ask for help if that's where you are. You know, uh, I wrote here 90% of business is attitude and 100% of it is work ethic. And you can do the math any way you want, uh, but, you know, a bad attitude. And uh, sometimes, you know, we say things in public. Uh, but what do we say in private? What are we saying to ourselves? How are we handling situations? Are we allowing ourselves to take offense? Are we allowing ourselves to, you know, uh, have people speak things into our life that are not true? Those things are all attitude based and we can control that. And I just encourage you that I encourage you to, um, you know, amp up your work ethic, um, you know, in all areas of your life, because the more you do, as I said earlier, in one of my other points, the more it's going to get rewarded, you know, habits will take you further than anything else. Every single day, you have to work on your your habits. Um, you know, for me, I'm not sure what the the number is now, but it's probably 500, maybe close to 600 uh, days. Uh, I haven't missed uh, closing my exercise ring, or at least doing 30 minutes of exercise. Uh, is it always convenient? No. Is it always easy? No. But I made a commitment in my life that every day I was going to do that, and um, and so those things get rewarded. And and um, you know, now we're we're um, you know built, um, what do you call it? We're gearing up. Uh, we're just like all of you. We're out talking to more and more people. We've talked to more people this weekend than we have in a long time because, you know, we, we understand, you know, that getting structure uh, can control the destiny of all of our businesses. And Jan and I, if we want to move to another level, we can't rely on anybody else. We have to build our structure. Structure will yield results, as John Crow says. And uh, we realize that and you realize that. Uh, another point, I jotted down, sorry for reading points, but keeps me on track. Uh, people don't care what you know until they know how much you care. And, um, you know, that's where we have to reach out. Uh, some of you already have existing partners and they need to be encouraged. And, um, you know, you need to realize the, the impact and the power of that. Uh, and especially when we're out there dealing with people, you know, don't have an agenda. You know, we're not, you know, when we go to talk to people, Jan and I, I just want to, I got a call from somebody in, in Vancouver. Uh, the other day and um, they talked to me and I'm not sure where we were in a restaurant and I happened to have a book uh, with me, the business of the 21st century. Um, you know, I said, hey, would you read this? She was just at a, a crossroads in her life. She was at a crossroads in her, in her work life. And uh, she called me, I think uh, last Thursday and uh, said she had uh, left the company she was working for. She had started her own business. She'd never felt better in her life. Uh, and it was because of my encouragement and because of reading that book and a couple other conversations that we'd had. Um, you know, she, she was, she was excited. And so uh, that really allowed us to um, understand uh, what was happening and uh, that we care for people, uh, no matter what the outcome is, we don't have an agenda, we just care for people and uh, making money is great. I jotted that down, but making a difference is even greater. I want to leave a legacy that I left an impact in people's lives, that I left their lives better. And so that was, for me, the most important thing was to leave an impact, to leave a legacy of that. Um, you know, I vote here as well. If you, know, if you don't change, you're not going to like, uh, no, so if you don't like change, uh, you're going to like irrelevance even, even less, right? You've got to change. This is the 20. 2020 it's only going to change more more and more and more and what you have to do is realize you have to be nimble you have to be on your feet you have to be accepting that you know the status quo is not the status quo and continue to move forward and again like i said earlier action cures fear and um you know realize that um you know belief has to trump doubt uh every single time and so the last thing um i just want to end with is uh just be grateful i'm grateful for all of you uh i'm grateful to have uh this group of partners in my life and all the other people listening to this video that hopefully can be encouraged and realize that uh, you too can make a difference 
uh, but you have to do the making part. You have to go out there and um, you, know, you can't give away what you don't have. So first you have to feed, you have to get fed, you have to have information, you have to have your heart full, you have to have your head full, and then you can go out and pour out to other people. And so uh, November 1st, here we are, here we go. Uh, let's have a great month. Hopefully get something out to you next week as well. Uh, we just believe that the great thing can happen. We're on the cusp of some of the greatest growth that we ever have seen in this business. I believe it. Uh, people are hungry. Uh, they're realizing that uh, now this new normal, um, they're really reevaluating their life, how they want to live, uh, you know, what they want to do with their families. And uh, we have the best of the best of the best. So we love you guys, respect you, and over and out from November.